Hello and welcome back to a brand new episode of Crashlands. This is episode 2 and this is what happens when you go idle in the game. Guy jumps and spins around whatever he's equipped. Pretty cool. So, we picked up last time. We had crafted a wooden chest plate which had some kind of stats on it. As you can see in the top left my health did increase to 89. So we can take a bit more damage now. Of course we don't want to be taking any. And we're on a quest to make wooden swords, so let's continue. We need a lot more of this stuff. And it's kind of nice how it auto picks up the items there as well, that's pretty cool. Uh, bacon weed, of course we need bacon weed. You can never have enough bacon weed. Give me some of that. We've almost got enough of this stuff and we just need the logs as well. So we're going to finally get a weapon and finally get into finding out the, com about the combat of this game, I'm guessing. Ah, oh, that was a rubbish piece of wood there. That tree, wood tree. Very bad. No wood. I think we can go out pretty far as long as there's no hostiles. Because we can teleport back to the ship, so that's going to be pretty handy. I wonder if we can have build like a teleportation station so we can teleport around the map kind of thing later on. Maybe. I mean, we're supposed to be building an advanced, uh, advanced comm system like, to get off this planet. We have... Most of them. Oh, what are these octo... Oh, no! I didn't mean to attack you! Yeah, stay there. No! These guys don't like me anymore. Because I chopped down too many trees, I guess. What is squiddy type things doing? Are you friendly? Until I attack you, I guess. Alright, a few more logs. We have enough. Let's just get some extra bonus materials. I mean, you're getting seeds of all this stuff, so I'm assuming you can grow it. It's just I don't have the dirt. Maybe I need to get, like, a kind of tool to... Plow the land? I don't know. So let's go into our map. Press an E. We're going to teleport back. And make ourselves a good old sword. So this is made at the sawmill, as you can tell by that icon there. Let's go into the sawmill and let's build this. Build. Yes. Sword. So it has our stats here. 10% bleed chance. Sawgrass Sword or Thunderfires, oh yeah. I don't know how you can have Thunderfires on a sword, but uh, we have it. Taste my blade, what does it taste like? Celery. <laughs> yeah, it is a Sawgrass Sword, so... Uh... Alright, we need a be better station to make that comm device. So we need to get some hides, and we're going to make that skinnery as well, I saw the last time. So to defeat some of those one bits and build us a skinnery. Alright, so it's already tracking. So we need like, it looks like bones. Some of this other stuff I was collecting before, this stuff. And I'm guessing that's hide, not rocks. So let's collect all this. We, have a, we almost have enough of that. Alright, let's fight you. Oh, yeah, we've got to avoid the red. And we avoid damage. Excellent. They're womp, womp pits, not womp bits. Womp pits. Stomp happy creatures that love sawgrass. And uh, what makes them tick? Oh, we can find their weakness. Okay. Excellent. Yes, excellent indeed. So, uh, a womp pit. So, uh, can tell me their uh, drops there. They drop bones, leather, sinew, toenails, and sometimes you can get their heart intact, apparently. So, defenses. They have 50% resistance to poison and fire, 10% to electric. Well, uh, did it tell me their weakness? Uh, brawling. Normal ones have 7% toughness, 3% bicep power. And as they get stronger, they have more toughness and more bicep power. Uh, 
Tell me their weakness. No. Doesn't tell me their weakness. I mean, I guess has no toughness and no ice resist. So if I attack them with ice, it'd be pretty fine. Huh. But I guess in it, it doesn't look like there's too many different enemies. Okay. Let's defeat some more. We need a lot of bones and a lot of hide anyway. No, don't hit me. Ah, oh, we took damage. Hey, still have my space wrench. Ooh. So open up your suit manager, poke the slot you want to equip a wrench. And you can whip it out in combat and stun these beasts. Alright, so we're going to try this. Press R, I'm guessing. So... Do I want to move this? It's in D slot. So if I hit it with this... Oh, he's got a cooldown as well, so maybe we can start the combat with it and get some attacks in. I don't know. Or maybe we want to hit it a couple times, then br bring out the wrench. So do like two chop wrench? Or... Or just hit now. There we go. Oh, that's double jumpy there. Might as well get some other resources on the way. So lots of wood over this way. If we collect some resources on the way, we might have the resources next time we have to... Oh, we've got a thing! What's this? A galooch! It's like a torch, but it has, like, galore instead of taut. Okay. Let's get in there. Hit it. Let's get this out. It's bleeding as well. It's pretty good. Let's see if the bleed can kill it off. Yeah, the bleed killed it off. Good to have some effects as well. I like... Having some random effects on combat. Let's whack this out. Yeah, look at that. Haven't got any bleed on this guy. So we have most of the materials we need. Let's collect some more stuff. There we go. Getting all that. So we need three more bones. One more hide. Oh, this one's like a better one, I guess. As long as we avoid damage, we should be okay. Oh, stay out the red areas. Oh, when it double jumps. So we should be able to get the uh, wrench out here. Oh, we got the intact heart. And we've got lots of bones, lots of leather. Oh no, we didn't get many bones. Okay, it's fine. Attack this one. Let's hit it with a wrench. Whack it. Whack it good. Bleach should kill it. So we still need one more bone. Bones are kind of annoying to get by the looks of it. Come on then. You wanna go? Ooh. Let's whack it with a wrench. There we go, we got all the stuff. Time to open the map. And let's head on home. That looks pretty big. So let's get in here. What is this? A glorch. It's a bit... That's how you went green with your lion. Ah, oh, yeah. So we need some like kind of green jelly stuff for that. But we need to make this. Got a news tool station. Excellent. Station assembled. Hello. Oh, look at all the stuff we can make with this. Pretty cool. So let's go and place this down. See if I remember how to do this. So it should be W. Should be the infinity symbol. Should be there. And like that. Yeah, awesome. 
The skittery is creepy. And effective. So, uh, you need more powerful armor and weapons to fight the beasts. See what new weapons you can build. Alright. Bet there's a ton of stuff to build and discover around here. You think I'd give up my employee of the month streak? Or take a pension card? No way. Let me scan for a crystal resonator. Uh, it's nearby. Okay. So if we open our map, will it show? Oh, it's. Hmm. So we've got to go there, I guess? Can we put a waypoint down? Waypoint set. Okay. Will it point me to that? Is this what this does? I don't know. So what can we do in here? We can make sticky bombs. It sticks er to everything to death. Deals 75% of your DPS as physical damage. You need sticks and hide. We can build basic glue. Build a sword board. Level 2 weapon. Ah, oh, this looks pretty sweet. Let's track this. We actually have quite a lot of the materials. Uh, one pants. Level 3 stuff. Uh, where's the level 2 stuff? I'm not complaining like. I mean, it's fine, but... Didn't we skip a tier? I mean, this is only level 2 weapons. What is level 2 armour? Maybe the armour I got before is level 2. Is this level 2? Level 1. So we are missing a tier. Which is fine because... You know... It's fine to miss a tier because I can instantly skip to better stuff, but... No, maybe it's a bug. I don't know. We do want this better weapon. So we need some more bones. But uh, we also need some some normal sawgrass as well. Let's go and head out. It's not too difficult to see. Oh, these things. Glowy things. I don't know if I can take these guys. Should we try? Oh, it does a lion attack. Okay. Try and hit whack it with a wrench. So we can kill it as long as we can stay out of the way. So we've got some new stuff here. Some chitin. That might be good for some armour. And some other bits there. Alright. Oh, we're going to have to attack two at once. Damn it. It's got hit there. Can't attack two at once. It's uh, kind of annoying to do. So just stump all over me. Let's try and pick a one on one fight here. Like with this guy. Come on, we did a lot of damage. Probably should have used our wrench, but it's fine. Got a crit there as well, we did 54. Uh, it's going to be two and one. I don't like two and one. Oh, we've got a new recipe. Uh, leather bag chair. Okay. Seems legit. Uh, collected a bunch of sawgrass seeds. Oh, it's going to tell me how to grow them? Awesome. It's what I wanted. They're little dot piles of dirt all over. You could fertilize those in. You could fertilize those and drop the seeds in. How do I make fertilized dirt? That is a good question. Alright. It's kind of dirty. Alright, what's this? So I'm, I'm going to need to get some kind of poop, I'm guessing. Can I check in here? Is it going to tell me? Do I have to scroll all the way down? No, it's not going to tell me. Guess I'll find out when I go back. Get rid of you. Come on, let's whack out our wrench. Remember this. Go whack out the wrench. Excellent. Is 
Oh, what is this? The Hydra Blade. Looks like a mutant saltgrass blade. Three blades instead of one. Oh, that looks... It's apparently it's ultra rare. I don't know about that. Rake leaves. <laughs> Pair of salt... Uh... Let's see this. New story as well. Hydra Blade Wood Shankers. So do I have those or do I have to make them? I don't know. So it looks like I got the item, to be honest. So uh, let's open up our slots. Yeah, we don't have the item. We'll go when we we'll figure out when we go back to base. We're supposed to be killing the one pits. One on one because uh, screw otherwise. Oh, it's on fire! It's on fire! It's got a kind of burn effect going on here. Get you. Oh, we got hit that time. Whack it with our good old uh, wrench. Wrench is becoming very useful right now. A good old stun is stopping them from jumping around. Get me, allow me to get in doom for some more damage. Finish it off. Yes, we can. Oh, we've got another recipe. What is this? Glowy bag chair. Sweet. Find all the schematics. Uh... Let's whack our wrench. Oh, you can throw the wrench? That's amazing. Yeah. Oh, we've got all our stuff. All right, let's head back home. So we can make ourselves a brand new weapon. And I kind of want to look at what else we got first. We discovered a thing. So we discovered the fertile dirt. So we need the dirt piles that we can get in. That's fine. Oh, what's this? Okay. I'm not quite sure uh, where that... I mean, I probably should look up in the information in the air this so uh, like a pair of so super awesome gloves mm. wild claws craft the wood shankers how do you make the wood shankers it's this so you need this, you need a lot of wood, and you need a lot, uh, not too much more grass. I think I want to make these, these look awesome. Level 3 legendary gloves. That's going to be a lot better than the other things. So let's go back, let's go to here. We're going to make this. We also discovered to make a glowy bag chair and a leather bag chair. It's possible that sitting on this chair will cause certain parts of your body to become radioactive. Radioactively awesome, that is. Ah, oh, yeah. Just need three globs and a bunch of other stuff. Let's build our new weapon, sawboard, level two weapon. See if we get any random effects on it. So, uh, hundred, uh, ten percent, Chris. I thought it was a hundred percent. Uh, so it's. Does less attacks per second. Does more damage per second. More crit chance. More poison chance. But it doesn't do the mood speed minus or the bleed chance. That's fine because we get poison chance and we've got more crit. And it does more damage. It's pretty good. So it does seem you get random effects and they will give you like maybe some bleed chance or some poison chance. That's kind of cool. Some kind of variation on weapons. That's kind of nice. I like that. So we've got a new weapon. I kind of want to track the other thing. Them gloves. Them gloves. I want to track this and get this built. So we have the one thing. Oh yeah, we want to see if we can get some dirt to grow some stuff as well. 
But, uh, it's been 20 minutes. Which means I'm going to be ending the episode. Time is flying by while I'm playing this. I'm really having a good time. I really like this game. And, uh, I highly recommend it to people when it comes out to get it. I'm not sure what the price is going to be on Steam yet, but it's on Steam, but it's, it should say the price. I'm not sure. It says, like, coming soon on the soul page. Oh, that's 44 damage to that. Look at that. Testing out a new weapon before we end it. Awesome. Anyway, thanks for watching, everyone. Stay tuned for the next episode. Subscribe. Get, leave me a like and a comment as well. I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.